Hello everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be explaining the meaning of pi. So most of you probably recognize this symbol here. This is the Greek letter for pi, spelled P-I, and it's equal to 3.14159 and then a whole bunch of other numbers that just keep on going forever. And what we want to know is we want to know where did this number come from? Um, well, where it came from is a circle. So if we have a circle here, and we find the center point of the circle, um, what we do is we start at any edge, and we travel through the center of the circle, and stop at the other edge. So a line segment that starts at one edge of the circle, travels directly through the center, and stops at the other edge of the circle, is called the diameter of the circle. So what we want to do to find pi is we take this diameter and we just set it aside right here. So I've taken the diameter, put it here, and now what I want to do is imagine that I put some pressure on the left and right side of this diameter. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of bending it. I'm going to bend this line so that it kind of forms like a circular shape here. And my goal in doing this is I want this shape that I'm creating to be the same length as the diameter, but I want it to curve so that it fits nicely around the outside edge of the circle. So now that I've bent this line into this nice shape, it has the same length as the original diameter, if you were to measure this way. And we're just going to place it snugly on the outside the circle like so. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to figure out how many diameters does it take to just be placed on the outside of this circle so that the entire outside or circumference of the circle is covered one time. So if we were to keep taking these diameters, bending them, and placing them around, and what we would find out is it takes exactly 3.14159 and a whole bunch of extra numbers that follow times to get around this circle to cover the entire circumference. So basically this little section right here is the point one four one five nine dot 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 and this would be one two and the three so one two three and then the plus 0.14159. So essentially what pi is, is pi tells us the amount of times that the diameter would have to be just kind of wrapped around the outside or the circumference of the circle to cover the circumference of the circle exactly one time. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed this and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.